Hey BFF, hope you're having a wonderful day. If you don't know, I'm Caroline. I'm a singer and songwriter, and I've been lucky to have um, some videos go viral. So, and thank you for that. I appreciate it. Or to the algorithm, and thank you to you for watching it. Um, but I'm going, I, I see, here's the thing. I'm really bad when I post content because, you know, most people, they spend a lot of time on their content they watch it back and forth they're like does this make me look good is this gonna ruin my life i don't really do that <laughs> i just kind of like post whatever and don't really think about it which i probably shouldn't do um and sometimes i literally don't even watch my tiktoks or videos before i put them out but today i will be reacting to my most viral videos some new, some old, so let's see how it goes. Um, this first one is a TikTok, which is a vegetable that I can't eat without severe, that I can't eat without severe LAS. So I don't really know why that one went so viral. Um, I think from the comments, a lot of people, because the broccoli was so weird and had a tree and it was very long, people thought it was a cater caterpillar. <laughs> Which that would be disgusting. I could not eat a caterpillar if I tried to eat a caterpillar. Um, but yeah, and a lot of people don't know what OAS is. If you don't know what OAS is, it's oral allergy syndrome. And see, I get a lot of hate because I don't eat fruits or vegetables. But the reason why I can't is because I'm very, very allergic to, I would say, 8% like of all fruits and vegetables. Really. And even to be able to eat them with when you're cooked, but for some, the reaction is so bad that it's cooked, it doesn't make a difference. A very, very bad severe case of OAS. And it's not even fruits and vegetables, it's some other foods as well. It's a very weird thing. And so, but broccoli, it was weird. In the spring, I actually could not eat broccoli, but as I tried it this fall, I actually ate it and didn't get a reaction. So I was very excited because I loved <laughs> broccoli. So posted it and glad you enjoyed it. And sorry, it looked like a caterpillar, that's my bad. It was me trying boba for the first time. I love how crazy my glasses look, it's so funny. Yeah, I don't think I would try boba again. Um, I was asked to try boba a lot because I'd said I hadn't tried it and everybody was like, And then I actually ended up being allergic to the boba as well. We're already talking about all these allergies, I don't know why. But I, and I don't know why I was allergic to boba. I don't quite know what it was because I got a green tea boba because I'm pretty good with green tea, so I thought it'd be fine. So it must've been the balls I was allergic to. And I, I did not enjoy it. I couldn't even really get it down. One, this, ooh, replying to a hate comment. <laughs> Nobody asked. So as soon as I saw that sound, I really liked it. Basically, this comment, I don't know, like, it's not necessarily a mean comment, but I just, like, felt, like, stupid and unnecessary, and especially because I wasn't even eating that much in the video. So just, like, very uneducated, and also because there are different types of eating disorders, like bulimia and binge eating disorder, and so it was just kind of uneducated comment, so I just important to make sure people know that not true and especially in recovery so many people have to eat it was weird they didn't give me that many calories to eat because i think i'm just shorter and little and couldn't handle that much but a lot of people have to eat like literally three thousand four thousand five thousand you have to because you've been so starved so it just was obviously somebody who does not understand recovery and let's go to this one a duet uh, So I don't know why that one went viral. Somehow people like my singing duets, which I'm happy people like my singing duets because they're very fun to do where you just like sing the song well. Do it. I just like duet my whole for you page basically. It's fun. And yeah, I thought that was very interesting that somebody put the ice cream in the lemonade. I don't know if I would like it to be honest, but like I, I love lemon and I love ice cream. So probably like it. People want me to try it. And like, I don't know if I should. I'm kind of nervous <laughs> to try it to be honest, but it could be very good. 
Okay, and then this one, I actually got a lot of hate on this one, so let's check it out. OJ like, I'm not black, I'm OJ. Okay. Okay. So I feel like that one was like misinterpreted in a couple ways, but I love the space buns. I just have to say that. I was very excited that night. I did space buns, and so I just... I was like, I want to do space buns forever. I still want to do space buns forever. I'm obsessed with them. Um, but so I think people very much didn't get it. I felt like, which I get stupid on my part, but I feel like a lot of people saw it. Somebody comes to you for help saying, oh my gosh, like I haven't eaten in days. Um, and you're just being like, whatever, like, I don't care. It was not meant to be that way at all. Um, basically it was meant to be, number one, it wasn't towards people who eat like I've, I've been there people who don't eat for days because of health reasons because trust me i've been there or really because they're struggling or just because they're exaggerating like they didn't eat breakfast and they're like haven't eaten in days let's go get something to eat you know i'm talking about people who say it as flex or to be like look how cool i am and it's just kind of an idea to be like that's not cool because i feel and i don't mean it to be a tough love type of thing but i, I feel eating disorders are so glorified and sometimes being like i haven't had sugar in a year i don't eat carbs like i literally ate like nothing like for a lot of people they can be like oh my gosh like good for you like that's so amazing like and reward them and then that kind of feeds it and you're like yeah i'm amazing aren't i better than you you know what i mean or it can be like a type of thing where it's like people are like oh my gosh like what are you doing like you need to eat something and you're like giving them the attention that they want and they're like mm -hmm. <laughs> i'm not going to because i'm so cool and it was just like meant to say like that's not cool like that doesn't make you cooler that doesn't make you better like you need to get help and be nourished and being malnourished isn't a cool thing and isn't a flex but obviously for health reasons <laughs> totally different been there many times with all types of allergies and health issues and digestion issues and pain like i get it but i never bragged about it and if i said it it was like oh like i it would be more like i wish i could eat something like it wouldn't be like a flex and also i think you should be careful about saying that to people in recovery because recovery you're in a very vulnerable place where like you're being forced to eat a lot more than you want to so then to have somebody be like <laughs> I haven't eaten and you're like well i've just eaten a lot but i didn't want to you know it's just it's a very triggering thing and can set people back so just want to be mindful um and then here's oh what i eat in a day <laughs> yeah this is just kind of a random one that was a random day Yeah, I don't really have much to say about that. I guess I did kind of eat a lot of sugar that day because it's weird. We usually, but a lot of people like don't like <laughs> get it. I think they eat like, I think I'm eating a lot of sugar, but I eat a lot of like substitute stuff because I just can't handle that much like real sugar, especially cane sugar. But um, I can do like sugar substitutes and stuff. And a lot, and then I get hate when I say I eat sugar substitutes, but I, they're not like, they just kind of help me, you know, in a way, um, or it's just like sugar substitutes, but it just makes it healthier and better. And also like I always do, um, dark chocolate, like very dark chocolate. So people are like, you're eating so much sugar. And I'm like, it's literally cacao. Like it has no sugar. Although the cake pop was like a full like Starbucks one. Cause, cause, and I get a lot of hate sometimes, but it's like, like you have to like i feel like especially in ed recovery like it's good to have like a fear food like maybe like you don't have like maybe every day or every other day to have like an actual like full like fear food just because you need to eat that fear food to conquer it and to be like that's not a big deal like i'm fine and so it is important to eat the fear foods okay <laughs> and then here's another one
I'm sorry, I just hallucinated. What? Yeah, so I really wanted to do that sound because I love Legally Blonde. It is like my favorite movie. It's a really good movie. Um, and yeah, I just, when you hear, I think a lot of people can relate to that because when you hear three meals and three snacks, like even though people are like, I eat that much and like, that's like no shame. Like everybody has different needs and they like, do you eat whatever you want. Um, but it's just like when you're eating nothing and then somebody says that, you're just like, that's not even possible. I've never eaten that much in my life. Like that, that can't be possible. Like that is the initial <laughs> reaction. <laughs> oh, that was me reacting to some of my most viral TikToks. Um, thank you for watching and let me know if you want a part two or anything else you want me to react to. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Love you. Bye.